What's up guys, this is Foed in North OTK and I'm going to do another tutorial for today. Um, this one's going to be like cuts and bruises and all that kind of stuff on a model. So um, the way that I'll do this is I'll just usually edit the texture. So um, I'm sort of going to go through how you do this. First of all, I'm going to pick a model. Um, so I'll open up Cinema 4D and I'll show you the process and how I do it. So um, you might have seen this one in my boxing animation. Um, now I don't think I have done a tutorial on this. I don't know why, but for some reason I think I've done it, but I don't think I have. Uh, okay, so yep, here's all the boxing stuff. Yep, 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 yep. No, that's not been done yet. So there we go. Um, and we'll, I think I just used the the original Nikolai model that we got. Um, and excuse the very very basic animation because I haven't finished it yet. Anyway, we oh no 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 no. <laughs> uh, let me just clear that. Put the original one because I'll show you this in a bit. Right. There we go. So we got a model. It's not very good. It's back from Mono Warfare Two, so you're going to see the difference if you're using Black Ops Two or Advanced Warfare models. Um, as you can see, if I render it, it's not that great, and the eyes are shite. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to bruise them up a bit. So what you need to do is you need to open up Photoshop and find the texture of the guy. So mine's 3D models. Oops. Call of Duty characters. Um, uh, uh, Nikolai number two. Oops. Nope. Find the texture, sorry. So there we go. And drag and drop that into Photoshop. There we go. Now you can start adjusting the way he looks. So for bruising, it's a bit hard. It's not you're not really going to find much on the internet to sort of add. You're going to um, have to do it yourself. But um, I had a little play around, and this is how I did it. Uh, if I quickly just get the video up for you, actually, and I'll mute the sound. I'll try and show you a scene where he's bruised. So yeah, there he goes. He got punched. He's getting up. I think it's around here. Nope. As you can see here, oh, oh I don't know. If I pause it, you will see the guy that's been punched now has a nice scar on his head. And that's the same that I did uh, with this process. So he's got a scar. And then this guy, you know, blood on his ha on his wrist, wristband, and also when the guy gets up, his face is all nice and bruised. And the easiest way to do that is I'll create a new layer in Photoshop. Then I'll just grab the paint the brush tool, make a fair size brush, so that's actually good enough. And I'll do this one, the one where it sort of fades out. And I'll oops, I'll choose a, a purpley color. It doesn't really matter sort of what level as long as it's kind of dark there we go and what I'll do is zoom into the area and I'm going to bruise this eye and I'm just going to brush over it so obviously the very bruised areas will be around the eyes here you know and then I'm going to change the colour and maybe, maybe make it a bit more reddish and then get the outsides there and then go full red and just do the outside here and you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute and then get the odd dark dark purple right in the center maybe make the brush size a bit further down and then when we come to doing our layer style we can change it I can't remember which one it was it was a darker one I know that and what it does is it uses the colour to, you know, bruise the skin. Just trying to find the which one I used. I couldn't remember. We'll go for multiply, and just see how that looks. And right now it looks quite shit, um, doesn't it? So then what I do is I grab the erase tool, size it up a bit, bring the opacity down, and then start feathering off the edges. You know. And get the area that I want bruised. And 
and if like I said it doesn't look right you can go back to your brush tool get your nice purple in actually no you're not for this one I'll probably make, make a new layer and then I'll do it so then I can just control this bit single-handedly and then remember, uh, remember to put it to multiply so first I'll work on the edges fade those out you don't want them to be all nice you know blocky nice smooth smooth look there and you can move it around to where you want it so as you can see that's the sort of principle using the colors to make him look a bit bashed up and obviously with a bit of light in this is very quickly done but you can see there that if he's walking around like that that's going to look a bit a bit painful and you can even make go further to add a pattern overlay um i don't know what what ones there are look this one would be good scale that right down opacity and change the layout styles for that. I don't know, so, sound like this, just so it's a bit more textury, and you can just bring that down as much as you want. So there you go. Adds a bit more texture to your to your bruising. And then if you need to make further adjustments, you can come up to image, brightness and contrast, and just start bringing that down a bit. That might be better actually. Looks a bit more bruised. And I'll do the same for the top one. Adjust that one to how I want it. I can see it needs a bit more raising around the edges, but around maybe there. There we are, guys. So if I just remove these layers. That's the original, and then that's sort of more bruised face. And you can add bits of blood and scars and whatnot. Um, so that's one option you could do to sort of make your players look nice. So obviously, in an animation, stuff like this makes it more realistic. And you you don't always notice it. Oh, that's really good. But it'll just be there, and it, in your mind, it will just process well. Um, so it's all these little things that will will make, will make a difference. Right now, I'm going to show you how to do like a bullet wound, and I've already found one. Um, go to a, like a nice green screen. One and that one's nice because it's 1080p as well, so it's nice quality. So you grab it, you save the picture, do what you want with it, put mine on desktop. And I used to just come into After Effects first before I'd put it into Photoshop because this is just something that I do. Because it's a green screen, I just pop it in, go to Effect, Key in, and then go to Key Light. Just remove that solid green, and then you're left with you know the flesh wound and then the alpha background so now I can come down to save frame as file choose PNG because PNG supports alpha you know it's got the alpha selected there and I'll just call this wound and put it on the desktop and render Oops. right here so that's all done um yep no nope, Photoshop then you go file, place, embed or linked, I don't know, we, both work just as well. Um, and there we go, I've got my wound. So what I'm going to do now is just size it to the scale that I want it to be. So I'd say about that. It's going to be like a nice 50 caliber wound to the head. Um, and then you just pop that in place. And then again, take the erase tool, first rasterize it so it can be editable. Zoom in and make sure you have a slightly smaller brush for this and then you're just going to work around smoothing this out and blend it into the skin. Don't worry so much about the colour yet, we're going to come back to that. But as long as all this is nice and sort of looks on the skin then that's the sort of effect you want. So more up here around the edges Get all this crap out. And the reason I put it on opac opacity is because you, then you can keep clicking and then you can sort of select the, the level that you want it at. I think I'm going to bring that more to the center. 
So that's looking a bit better, isn't it? But there's still another thing we need to do is the color. Um, and obviously on this model, this black shadow here represents the hat line. So if you want that visible, visible, you can just bring that down here. And we've got another bit up here which we can delete. Right. And then what I'll do is I'll just come up to image. I'll go to brightness and contrast, and I'll just play around with these two settings. So I'll bring the brightness down a bit, and the same with the contrast. And the contrast will sort of make it more black and white, you know, it'll bring it more grayscale, which can match the tone of our skin. So to about there. And there we go. I think that, that kind of matches. Click OK. Make sure it's in the right position you want. And then when you zoom out, you have a nice bullet head in your soldier. So, what I'll do is I'll just import the other one onto the here. And I will actually export the bruise, just so we can see it. Save it to desktop. Uh, there we go. Right, so we'll show you the bullet first, because I've already got one. There we go, so it looks crap, but when you render it, then you've got a bullet. That's nah, not accurate, I want that to be slightly to the right. But there you go, that's sort of what you, the effect you get. Um, obviously with a bit of light in, let's add that in. It's all important. That'll do, just remove the mesh. And let's see what this looks like, shall we? And obviously with a bit of ambient occlusion, global illumination, and all that kind of stuff, just to make it look nice and tidy. It should look alright. And hopefully blends in with the, the model well. Personally, I don't think that's good. The position of it's wrong. Maybe a bit too big. And the black edges at the top need to be sorted. Uh, and then I think that'd be be all right, but we've still got the bruise to look at. Uh, now, like I said, it's, it was done very quickly, so <laughs> um, if it doesn't look right, that's something to obviously take a bit more time with. So there we go. Guys, all fucked up. But what I suggest is I'd suggest just going on to it's to obviously too much red. I don't like that. If you just go onto Google, look at what a bruise looks like, and then sort of try and paint it yourself. Um, this is just a rough estimate with three colours. Um, so obviously, if you, if you look at a bruise and then sort of design yours, sort of by looking at that, and that's sort of how you're going to get the best results. That was really quickly, but you can see what the colours have done. You know, you got your red saw outer layer of the bruise, and then you got the nice purple ruptured bit you know um and that's the sort of effect that I, I sort of wanted to go for but that's how you sort of um do cuts and bruises and bullet marks and you know knife slashes and stuff so it's all just about editing the texture really i wouldn't go much to doing the mesh i mean if you wanted to you can for like the bullet hole you can do a little indent in the head so why not just show you now pop that one back on uh, just come to the original mesh. Now it depends really if it's a high or low poly model. This one's not that great. But what I will do is I'll grab this. Actually, I'll go to normal. Grab this point. Uh, oops. I've got a pose morph tag, so I'll just take it off. Bring that right in. And then possibly this one as well, just slightly. Lift these up a bit more, and what we're just what we're going to do is we're just going to try and make a little indent for our bullet hole, uh, and then just these two. Oops, a bit too far. To about there, I'd say. And there you go, guys. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty funny because it's you know it could do with a bit of um smoothing out. Maybe that just needs to come back a bit more, and then I don't know. It's something I'm gonna have to sort of work with. Maybe that one's a bit too far back. Right, I'll, I'll just leave it there because. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. That you can have a, a bit of fun with. But there we go. He's got a nice bullet wound in his head. And, you know, if you, you're looking around and obviously without the big old point there, uh, you can make something look quite nice. So, yeah, have a little play around. Um, use this method, you know, method elsewhere. You don't have to use it specifically for the, what I've shown you. You can sort of branch yourself out. If you think of something, you think, oh, that would look good. You know, then just use this method to apply that that thought. So, like this video, um, comment if you have any more tutorials. And that I'll see you next video. Peace.